Hi, and welcome to this Track Wrestling Help video. Here at Track Wrestling, we are committed to helping you run a great event. The purpose of this video is to give you easy, step-by-step -step instructions to help you set up and run your best event ever. In this video, we're going to go over importing tournament settings. You would use the import tournament settings option if you wanted to quickly set your tournament up using the settings from one of your prior events, or if you had been to a tournament and you liked the way that that was run, you can import the settings from that. Importing tournament settings is the third option on your to-do list and is something that you would want to do right away. Um, if this is your first tournament, we do suggest that you go through the tournament settings manually. That way you get an understanding of what the settings are and um, know how they're used. Please note there is a video out there on tournament settings. To get started, we're going to go Setup, Import Settings, and this is going to open up the import tournament info. Very first thing you want to do is click on the get button next to no select no event selected and you're going to find the event that you want to import. You type in the name and that's going to pull up a list of events. Please note that if you hover over it you'll see video key OT and then a number. The OT is the tournament format. You want to make sure that you're importing the correct tournament format. Um, this is an open tournament, so we'll be able to import this tournament into my tournament, but if it said something different, um, like PT, that's a predefined tournament and those settings would not import into an open tournament. So we're going to come over here and we're going to select the MJWL blank tournament. And then we're ready to select the settings that we want to bring in. Most of these are pretty self-explanatory. Um, bracket template settings would bring over any bracket settings that have been customized. customized. Um, qualifying tournaments and matrix would be if you're using qualifying tournaments and how those are mapped. Um, teams and statisticians would be any teams and users um, that you want to bring in. OBS sources, scenes, and track cast ads would be anything that you needed for running um, video streams. All right, so we're going to go ahead and select tournament settings, brackets, rounds, prelims, and scoring. I want bracket template, I want the groups, weight classes, mats, um, separation criteria, and we'll do period links. The very next thing that we need to do is check this box for this red text. The red text is letting you know that anything you import into your tournament is going to overwrite what you already have and lets you know that you are not copying this tournament to the test site. This will all be done on the live site and it does overwrite any existing information. So by checking that box, you're just um, verifying that you do understand. Um, the option to import to the testing site is right here. You would click here and that would import over. There is a help video on how to copy to the test site. Once you have all your settings selected, you would click import and you'll get a box letting you know that you are going to overwrite what's already there. I'm going to type import and hit OK. And then you'll get another box letting you know that depending on the amount of information being import, it could take a little while and that you'll be alerted once it's done. Go ahead and hit OK. And once the importing is complete, you'll get a notification. Hit OK there as well. Now if we go to setup, groups and divisions, we can see that all of the groups from that tournament have been brought over. If we click on the group, we would see that my weight classes have been brought over. And now we're ready to continue building our tournament. 
Once you've imported, you can check that off of your to-do list and you're ready to go. Thank you for watching this track wrestling help video. Our customer support team is committed to helping you run a great event. If there's anything else that we can help you with, please feel free to use the support tab located in the top right corner of the page to reach out to our customer support team. Have an amazing event. Thank you and have a great day.